Hey, I think we have a good one today about a love and understanding and tolerance. Yes, we are doing What's So Funny About Peace, Love and Understanding by Elvis Costello. We have not done Elvis Costello before on the channel and this should be a fun one to do. Hey everybody, it's Sue and thank you so much for tuning in to play it again. I really do appreciate it. This one is going out to Joseph who was the one who asked for this particular song. So Joseph, I hope you enjoy it. Anyway, before we get going, if you could all like the video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. And if you so desire, you can always become a member of the channel. Just click on the little join button right below the video and it'll tell you all about it if you care to do so. All right, here we go. Going back to the late not eight, uh, 70s, maybe 77, 78, something like that. Maybe you guys can tell me the exact year that this came out. This is apparently is a live version of the song. And it was at, when he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2003. And I always do love live videos. So this one should be very, very cool. Here we go. still so very relevant for today. I mean, it was done probably, what, 40 plus years ago, and it's still so relevant to today. And we just don't have enough of peace, love, and understanding in the world today. So it's unfortunate that things just haven't changed enough to really feel like we have. But this is an amazing version. He did this song probably about 25 years after he had originally recorded it, and he still sounds fantastic. Absolutely love it. It's just so great to see him live. And I loved at the very beginning that buzzy, kind of fuzzy sounding guitar that he was playing. It just sounded so very cool. And I love like the organ in this song. And uh, he had quite a bit of an organ. I, I don't think it really was an organ as opposed to just a synthesizer, but I love that sound. And he did have that in a number of his songs. And I thought it was cool. He is a fantastic artist and it is, this is an amazing song. Interestingly, the song was not written by him. It was actually written by Nick Lowe, who was was a famous producer and was a very well known for his song Cruel to be Kind which was a great song maybe we should do that one on the channel one day because that would be a really fun one to review as well uh, interestingly though he did it with his band and they were called I think they were called Brimley Schwartz back in 1974 but unfortunately Nick Lowe and his band didn't uh, they didn't do anything with this song but they became Nick Lowe became very influential to Elvis Costello and other bands like the Clash, for example. Anyway, just thought that would be a kind of a neat little tidbit of information. Okay, let's rewind this a teeny bit and we're going to get right back into this thing. Just makes me want to cry. 
so well performed loved they had a little bit of an extended kind of version on that song it kind of showcased the organ a little bit more a little bit more of the guitars kind of all jamming together very cool very relevant for today and we really need to heed that question we have to really start loving understanding each other a little bit more peace is so important anyway that was fantastic and i really enjoyed that live version i had never seen that before so that was a nice treat anyway my fun fact for the day is i already mentioned that nick lowell was the writer of this song but in 1973 is when he actually started to write this song and when he started to write it it was actually a bit of a joke apparently he said that at the time the kind of hippie movement was sort of ending and people were becoming a little bit more cynical and they were starting to drink more and do harder drugs and uh, it was kind of becoming out of fashion this whole notion of peace and love and so he he thought he would write this sort of from a, a perspective of a hippie who was basically posing the question to these as he put it these kind of smarty pants you know new guys who were basically saying you know he, he was just laughing at him and they were kind of being an idiot so i thought this is kind of a neat premise is that you know you have this guy who's trying to defend this whole hippiedom and these newfangled you know youngsters were basically all cynical and saying you know wow wow this is hilarious why are you even mentioning this but he actually as he further went on in the writing of this song and he started to really realize that this isn't a joke this is actually something that's very serious and he started to take it a lot more seriously and he really got quite involved and in, engaged in this song and felt that it really needed to have a very serious take on it and so therefore it ended up being what it is today so something that started off as a complete joke ended up being something very sentimental very serious and very poignant so very very cool i think anyway if you like elvis costello and you'd like me to do more please put it down in the comments and joseph i hope you enjoyed this song because this one was for you okay everybody i think that wraps it up so everyone have a joyful day and i will see you all again next time bye bye <laughs>